Well, good morning. Did you have a few good weeks in the Lord? <laughs> Melissa had to give me directions to get here. It's been a, it's been a while. No. It's good to be back. It's good to be back. Lord, so merciful. Our mercies are new every day. I was telling Miss Susan back there, I, or one of it, her agency, one of them, my Delta app said I logged 9,300 miles. You know, that's a long way. My arms are give out. <laughs> but uh, you feel like when you're that far away, you'll never get back at times, you know. I appreciate the prayers and the texts and all. Celebrated my birthday out of the country. That was a first. But you know, even over there, guess who was with me? The Lord. And lo, I am with thee always, even to the ends of the world. And I do, you know what? You can treasure that when you're gone. Home is really, Melissa picked me up from the airport. She said, we'll be home shortly. I said, I'm home. I'm with you. But that, that, you know what? That struck me the next day because she reminded me. I said that I was so tired and jet lagged. I really didn't know what I was saying, but. We ought to be at home every day because Jesus is with us. Jesus is with us. If you will, go to Psalm 118. I ask y'all, when I, you know, every time I get up here, did you have a good week in the Lord? We shouldn't have a bad day. Do y'all remember the last devotion I sp spoke to y'all about what it was? Biscuit making. And the ingredients. It took me 36 hours to get over there because plane issues, delays, whatever. I got over there and I told Melissa, well, said, you've been up for 30 hours, now how do you feel? I said, well, I've had too much baking powder already. I'm ready for my biscuit. Trials, tribulations. But in each of that, you know, when I ask you that, verse 24 here says, This is the day which the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We just celebrated Thanksgiving, didn't we? What is Thanksgiving? What is Thanksgiving? See, on my trip, nothing went like it was supposed to. But I learned it all worked out. And like I said, I talked to you all about biscuit making in Romans 8, 28. Where we know that all things work together for the good. And by the end of that trip, a lot of things that went wrong in the beginning worked in my favor in the end. And the Lord just taught me a bunch of lessons about... Like Paul said, I have learned in whatsoever state I'm in therewith to be content. We are a product of daily choices. Thanksgiving is a choice. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. We, I mean, we're going to get back to David. I haven't left him, but one of the things, you know, the Psalms... Or a lot, most of the Psalms were written by David. But when the Lord makes a day for you, are you going to accept it or are you going to make a day for yourself? Are we going to hew out cisterns that leak? Are we going to earn wages and put them in a bag with holes? I've been putting up the uh, videos that y'all recorded, and I appreciate everybody's help with that. From Ben to Susan writing the verses down, everybody else. It helped. I mean, they, they took... And I appreciate y'all's helping with that with our video ministry. And that was a blessing to me because I come home and got to watch those and it was like I was here. But what are we going to do with today? Listen, this is the day that the Lord hath made. Tomorrow, Monday morning when I get up, is that going to be a day that the Lord hath made for me? 
Am I going to rejoice and be glad in it when Monday morning hits? See, it's a choice. Thanksgiving. Like I said, some we are the sum of all of our daily choices. Well, God's sovereign. Really? Yes, He is. He's sovereign enough that He puts you in a place where you can make choices. We get home today, Melissa's made some food. God's sovereign, but He's not going to make my plate and pick up my fork and feed me. He's given me that ability. God is never going to do for you what you can do for yourself. You can make this your day or His day. Listen, the Lord made a day when David was anointed king. The Lord made a day when David defeated Goliath. The Lord made a day when He protected His sheep, when David protected His sheep from the lion and the bear. The Lord made a day when it was time for the kings to go forth to war, and what did David do? He decided he didn't want that day. Lord, the day that you have made for me, I don't want. I want my own day. I'm going to stay here on the rooftop. What happens? Can you rejoice in those days? See, the days I, don't re I can't rejoice in are the days that Clay has made. I've made my own cisterns and tried to drink out of them. They wouldn't hold water. What does Proverbs 3? I told y'all as a child, my first verses I had to learn was Psalms chapter 1. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is what? In the law of the Lord. The next passage I had to learn was Proverbs 3, 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and do what? Lean not into our own understanding. You know what I do? I start out that day that the Lord has made and I start leaning. Hey, he, he didn't quite know what he was doing here. So I'm going to lean this way just a little bit. And I start leaning into my own understanding. And before I know it, I've done like well, what we've done at the dinner table before. I push that plate away. I don't want that food. I want something else. And it's no longer the Lord's day. It's now Clay's day. And what a mess I can make of it. I'll burn the biscuits. I'll have charcoal briquettes. My point is to you that this morning, on my first Sunday back with y'all, worshiping with my fellow brothers and sisters, we just sang how firm a foundation. Do we believe that? Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not into your own understanding. And what's that next verse say? In all thy ways acknowledge Him and He might direct your paths. What a blessed promise. What a blessed promise. So if we're not going to make our day, why should we rejoice in the day that the Lord hath made? Go back to verse 22 here of 118. The stone which the builders refused to become is become the headstone of the corner. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. See, I can rejoice every day because the stone that the builders rejected, and Jesus referenced this in Matthew 21, He said it's become the head cornerstone. That's why I should be able to rejoice every day, because of salvation. Not because my football team won, or because Monday morning was quiet, or because my politician won. Praise Jesus. See, if I'm rejoicing in this, I can truly say I won't have a bad day. Just because my plane broke down and I sat on the tarmac for three hours, that was the Lord's doings. I can accept that or I can get mad about it. Having to bury one of my loved ones. I'm really handing them off to who? Is it a loss for them or me? It's neither one. 
Brethren, I'd have you sorrow not as others. We know in that last day, what? At the last trump, the dead in Christ shall rise first. We're sorrowing over wrong. We're worldly, we're fleshly, we're carnal. And as I've told y'all before, you know what the Lord's working with me, working me over about if I'm up here telling you about it. And I want you to suffer with me. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Let's do that this week. Let's let Him direct our paths. Let's not make it my day. Let's make it His day. Come what may. Listen, was it the Lord's day when Job was smitten by the devil? You know what, my, you know what I want to be? I want to be a mercenary Christian. You know what a mercenary is? They're a hired gun. I don't want to be a disciple. Lord, you saved me. Now I'm going to take care of them for you. Let me at them. And when he does not allow that, what do I do? I start making it my day. I'll show them. I'll get revenge. It's hard, isn't it? It's easy to say. Easy to say. Because with a lot of bacon powdered on it. A lot of high heat to get that biscuit. I love you. It's good to be back with y'all this morning. I tell you what, it's a blessing. I missed y'all. I felt like I was getting cold, brother. You know, just creeps in. I got home, got to watch those videos of y'all teaching. And I did have some of that over there, too. So it was nice. But I learned to make every day God's day and quit making it my day. And things went so much better because he knows what tomorrow holds. I know who holds the future. What a firm foundation. May the Lord bless you.